there's been a ton of talk about perplexity AI on how it's much better than ChatGPT. And whilst this is a trending theme currently online, I want to put this to the test. So join me in today's video where we compare different outputs with Perplexity AI versus ChatGPT. Here we are inside Perplexity AI. And one of the interesting things that you can do with Perplexity is head over to the focus option and you can categorize or have a more focused search using different criteria. So for example, if you're looking for something like published academic papers, you would select the academic option. Alternatively, if you're looking for videos or general forums, you can select it to YouTube or Reddit. Now, the thing with perplexity that you can't do with ChatGPT is you can't, number one, enable the co-pilot. And whilst ChatGPT uses its own model, perplexity actually uses almost all of the AI model. And you can change this in your setting area under the AI model. So whilst we're comparing perplexity to ChatGPT, I think it's important to recognize that perplexity is kind of using ChatGPT along with all the other language models. Let's get both ChatGPT and perplexity AI in the same window. I'm going to just start things off with a general query. So we're going to say, are bananas radioactive? I'm gonna grab this and paste it into ChatGPT. And now they're both giving us answers. Now there's some quite interesting things going on here because with ChatGPT, as you see right here, it's a straight to the point concise answer, but that's as far as it goes. Because with ChatGPT, we've not asked it to do anything else. We've not asked it to give us references or sources or anything on the line. So it's just answered our question in the exact way that we've asked it. Whereas with perplexity, it's found all the sources, it's then referenced all the sources, and it's also given us related questions to the question that we've asked, which then we can click on and it will start giving us answers for the next question. Whether or not that is more handy or less handy than ChatGPT, I guess is up to the person searching. On one hand, that can be really useful because it's actually giving you all the sources, so it's one less thing that we need to think about or even ask for. Where on the other hand, with ChatGPT, it's just given us a straight direct answer. And if we want more information, it will give us the more information. For example, we're going to ask ChatGPT, give us a reference for this. And now it's searching Bing, but here's something interesting. It actually feels a bit slower than what Perplexity just gave us. And because we've asked it to give us a reference, it's now giving us all of this new text and it's also added quotation marks in these references and comparing the references to these references they're actually from the same places although perplexity seem to have given us more variety inside perplexity we're going to go to the focus and we're going to select youtube and inside chat gpt we'll start a new chat i'm going to ask both chat gpt and perplexity ai to find me videos about the latest cameras in 2023 so we'll do search and search. What's interesting is that ChatGPT seems to be searching Bing and most likely the video tab of Bing, whereas Perplexity has is actually searching for the YouTube videos. And we can see that Perplexity seems to be much faster than ChatGPT right now. ChatGPT has finished giving us a response and it's given us three of the top videos and it's also given us links right here. But only two of these selections have linked us to YouTube, which means that one of the options it's found, there is no video on YouTube that represents it, which is actually interesting because we didn't ask it to find us blog posts or to give us the oh, the best options. We asked it to get, find us the best videos about the latest cameras. So ChatGPT didn't do the best job here. Whereas with Perplexity AI, it's done exactly what we've asked. We've asked it for the videos and it's taken us straight to the video. So, and also Perplexity has given us more options to go through. And again, whether or not that's good or bad is up to the searcher. Now I'm going to give both ChatGPT and Perplexity the same question again, but this time I've changed Perplexity to Reddit. And again, we can't do that with ChatGPT. So let's see what sort of results we get. So on ChatGPT, I've added an additional, find me a conversation about AI on Reddit. So let's see 
what it comes up with. Now, on ChatGPT, it's actually given us an error, but it's given us some suggestions. Whereas on Perplexity AI, it's asking for a little bit of clarification so it can find us some better results. So I'm going to try regenerating on ChatGPT the answer to see if it was just a glitch in the matrix. And I'm going to give some further clarity on Perplexity to clarify it. So on Perplexity, we're going to do Future Impact and do Send. And then we're going to click the Regenerate and see what comes up. It seems in this case, ChatGPT is actually faster than Perplexity by quite a bit. And it's also given us the reference. However, this is a reference from a article from the independent website and not directly from Reddit. So let's see what Perplexity gets us if it ever decides to finish. Whilst we're waiting for Perplexity to find us the search, what I'm going to add to the ChatGPT conversation is, find me direct links from Reddit and do enter. So despite ChatGPT having direct access to the internet, it can't actually find us direct links from Reddit. Now, Perplexity is taking a tad too long for my liking. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page and try the search again. Somehow we've managed to break Perplexity. So we're gonna have to kill the page and come back to it. Now, whilst Perplexity just crashed, I do want to point out that ChatGPT also crashes every so often. So we're going to search for AI again on Reddit, but this time it's not actually asked us for further clarification. It's just given us a direct answer about what AI is. And if we click on the link, it does take us directly to Reddit where, we've, where we're able to access forums. So that is pretty handy. Whilst this was a quick demonstration of some of the differences between ChatGPT and Perplexity, it seems to me that ChatGPT is still ahead of other language models. Now that it utilizes the GPT store, you can do a wide range of different things that can streamline anything that you're really after to do. Whereas with Perplexity, you do have the focus tabs and they have somehow managed to directly access specific sources that ChatGPT cannot. If you need something for greater research with better access to the web, I'd probably say go with Perplexity AI. But if you're looking for something that's more task orientated or overall for writing and general task completion, ChatGPT is still probably the better bet. However, your best option is to try them both, test them and make a decision for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.